Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome back to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the add-ons that we've done to our tractor. Um, if you haven't seen it, we have a very successful video about uh, why we chose our Kubota L2501 gear drive tractor for the homestead. Um, if you haven't seen it, we're going to put a link to it right up here. It's obvious to us that uh, you guys, you seem to want to see more stuff about the tractor and the stuff that we've done to it to personalize it and make it our own. So I decided that um, I have a friend who I owe a favor to that I'm buying one of these saw hauls for. And I thought, since I'm buying one of these, I'll do an unboxing review for it. If you have a tractor and you use it, I wouldn't be surprised if you have a chainsaw. And I would have to say that uh, after all these years, this is the best way that I've found so far to carry a chainsaw around without having it get in the way or get destroyed on a piece of equipment. The company is an American company, so all made in USA. They've come, they've come quite a ways. Their packaging, the first one I got, wasn't, wasn't fancy like this. It was just a regular little flat brown cardboard box. So obviously their, uh, their product's really catching on as they've gained in popularity. They now also offer them in uh, red, green, blue, orange, and yellow. You can get them to match any tractor or UTV or zero turn mower or whatever you want to happen to mount your chainsaw to. And you can have it be color coordinated, which is cool. Uh, my original one was black and I, I went ahead and bought the black one. This time, because Dennis's tractor is actually black, so it is going to match his tractor. But they're very simple to install, and they come with all the appropriate hardware. And they even are really good about letting you know what tools you'll need to install the unit, which is very few. I think you might need a ratchet, a couple sockets, and maybe two wrenches, something like that. It's very, very easy. Installs in about five minutes. This is your uh, saw hall scabbard. It's a lot like your regular chain guard or protector that you'd put on a regular chainsaw, but it's very, very rugged, very, very thick, very thick. This is the hardware and the flat bar that bolts to your riser for your bucket. And this in here should be the brace allen bolts sometimes they send you enough options so you can mount it either to your your uh, bucket attachment riser or you can mount it to your ropes canopy uh, if not you may have to specify when you're ordering your kit which type you want yes yeah, see this one this one just has the stuff to attach it to to the uh, bucket riser this is the hardware you would you would use to to uh, hook it to your your bucket riser like like my tractor is and this is your optional hardware kit that I think you have to get extra it actually came with mine when I bought mine originally it was a universal kit this is what you would use to mount it to your ropes canopy you know your risers your roll bar whatever you want to call it ropes is a rollover protection system if I if I remember correctly something like this rollover protection system fancy word for roll bar um, if you're going to be folding yours up and down a lot because you can't get it in and out of the garage, maybe this isn't a good option for you because it's going to be in the way, you know. So this, it just depends on your application and where you mount your chainsaw. Same thing, you could use you could use any of this stuff to mount it to a, a four-wheeler or a UTV, lawnmower, whatever you want, wherever you want to carry your chainsaw, they've got an option. But uh, this goes in here once this bolts to the machine. This goes on here like this. And what these holes are actually for, believe it or not, are for your chainsaw wrench and a file to stand in there so you won't lose them. Then your saw will hold those down. So that's kind of cool. I kind of wish, I kind of wish mine had that. But uh, they're very well made. And if you don't want this on your tractor all the time, especially if you're not going to be carrying your chainsaw, all you have to do is take this off and you'll just have this one piece of plastic. Well, it's actually, it's metal with a plastic insert bolted to the side of your riser for your bucket so there's nothing sticking out there in your way. Originally, I did not want 
to mount my saw to the outside of the arm for the bucket because to me it seemed like it was going to be out and in the way. I've been using the thing for two years. It's never bothered. It's never bothered. Nothing bothers it. It's, it I'll, I'll take the thing off sometimes. You know, if I'm not carrying the saw in the wintertime, I'll take the, uh, the, whole, uh, the whole scabbard and the saw completely off the machine and just be left with this one little bracket just because, you know, hey, I don't want it left out in the weather all winter and, you know, it can, uh, can get full of water and snow and ice. That's one thing I would change. Uh, these little drain holes here on the bottom, there's two. I would actually drill those out a little bigger, maybe to like quarter inch instead of eighth inch. And I only say that because chainsaws are really dirty and they, you, you get chips and uh, gummy oil from your barn chain oil. Those holes get plugged up when they do, when it rains, this gets filled up with water. So if it's sitting there and you don't realize it, you go and stick your saw in there, splush. Now you got a bunch of water all in your bar and your chain and stuff, which you really don't want. But if I was going to change anything at all about these units, that would be the only thing, which is quite easy to change. Just, just, just plastic. Just punch a little hole in there. It's really no big deal. Now we'll go outside and uh, have a look at how they, how they fit on the tractor. This is how it mounts to the bucket upright. As you can see, saw goes right in here. You can take your saw out. You can take this either out with it or you can leave it in there. Either way you wish. If it's going to be uh, nasty out and snowing and storming and I don't want this dragging through the snow and stuff like that, I can take that right out. And the only thing you left is with is the bracket. So there's really nothing in the way. So it's not like you're permanently attaching some giant thing to your tractor. So you can... Stick that in there just like that. Slide your props in there and keeps it pretty much out of the way. It does wiggle around a little bit. SAR has never tried to come out and I've had it in some pretty rough spots. So all in all, I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. There's lots of options. If you don't want to mount it, you can, if you don't want to mount it here, you could actually mount it to your, to your limbs or you can mount it back here on your ropes canopy. And like I said, you can get it color coordinated for your machine now. And also, this one's the standard 20 inch bar length. You can get, I think, all the way to 32 or 36 inch now for, like, say, if you're a professional and you want to mount it on a real piece of heavy equipment, if you're a logger or something like that, and you've got a big saw with a long bar, you used to have to cut the end off and have it protrude down, you know, out the end of the bar cover. But now they actually make the longer bar covers so you can you can get one to suit whatever length saw you have. This one's up to 20 inches. I don't use anything longer than a 20 inch bar myself, so it works out perfect. I believe that's standard. Mm -hmm.